Brita will be providing health coverage immediately to uh, all Ukrainians arriving through the federal program. Uh, and uh, we will be immediately offering enrollment in K-12 schools in their new communities to ensure continued education and access language learner programs if necessary. We'll be providing for an Alberta identification card, including a driver's license to access important services and supports like health care and banking services. We'll be providing a, a for licensed child care programs in the communities that work best for Ukrainian families who arrive here. We'll be providing for access to organizations and resources that can help support f help find work and build careers in Alberta, such as the Alberta support centers across the province, uh, including uh, searching for jobs specifically for Ukrainian arrivals. And I should mention that uh, it's in the federal program that these individuals are arriving in, they do uh, have an automatic open work permit uh, to enable them to work legally. We will be providing for access to community adult learning programs uh, to improve financial and literacy skills, including English as an additional language. And we'll also be providing a reference guide at alberta.ca slash Ukraine uh, in English and Ukrainian with detailed information on resources and supports uh, that can help Ukrainian arrival, uh, arriving here settle uh, into their new communities. So we'll be taking other additional steps, but we wanted to look at the full spectrum of government programs to ensure uh, rapid access because these um, individuals have already faced enough adversity uh, in recent weeks. We don't know where we're heading, but what we do know is last week on Thursday, last Thursday, um, Alberta Health had indicated that two, uh, 290 um, health care cards were issued. And so we know that there's at least 290 in Alberta. Um, in, in Edmonton, uh, we've had about 170, but it's hard to really gauge. We don't have a formal system in place where we're tracking, but we're gauging about 170 in, in, uh, in Edmonton that had arrived through the Edmonton airport and possibly 50 or so through Calgary. Um, every day we do get arrivals of 10 plus people. What we heard today from uh, the Minister of Advanced Education that there's going to be some adult literacy education support available, which is going to be critical. What we've been hearing from our newcomers is uh, there's access to learning English as a second language. There has been a gap. And so we are grateful to hear that there is that support um, coming in pl into place. Uh, we know that that's fundamental and key to, uh, to the beginning of the process of being successful.